double time meeting between these two teams. ULM holds a commanding 50 to 17 record in the all-time series. Coach Richard, four and five all-time versus UT Arlington. And your officials are Anthony Jordan, Kerry Sitton, and Andrew Walton. Warhawks in their home whites. UT Arlington and their traveling blues. The basketball is up in the air and the tip controlled by UT Arlington. They'll be going to my right broadcast vantage point directly across from the ULM bench. Between the rings, Jalen Jones with the basketball. He'll get it to Eric Neal, who will bounce it down low to Jorge Bilbao. He'll miss a layup, and it's rebounded by Travis Munnings as we are underway here at Fant Ewing on a Thursday evening. Travis Munnings will fire up an 18-footer. It's missed, and Eric Neal will come up with a rebound for UT Arlington. Pass will go up to Drew Charles. Drew Charles will move over to the left. Will kick out to Hervey on the right wing, now inside to Bilbao. Defended by Alabacus, pumps, drives inside, shot up with the left hand short. Alabacus will come up with a rebound. Jorge Bilbao had a career high 18 points and 15 rebounds in the last meeting between the Warhawks and the Mavericks. Drew Charles able to reach in and knock the basketball out of bounds, and it appears it'll stay ULM basketball, and it will. 18 seconds on the shot clock, 19.07 to play in this first half. Sam McDaniel will bring it in from the right corner. McDaniel will get it in to Munnings. Munnings now to Washington. Marcus Washington starts up his dribble, crosses over to the right, pulls up from 17, too strong, and Hervey will corral the rebound. Up to Eric Neal, left side. Neal. We'll get it out to Hervey. Hervey pumps on a three, now steps up from 15 and buries it. 2 nothing. UT Arlington, 18.40 to play in the first half. Sam McDaniel will bring it across the timeline. McDaniel now to Washington, over to Munnings. Munnings will bounce it down low to McDaniel. McDaniel backing his way in. Will bounce it to Alabacus. Free throw line jumper, too strong. Rebound tipped over to Bilbao. Mavericks. Up floor quickly, Herbie will fire up a long three. It rims out, rebounded by Washington. Warhawks up floor quickly. Nick Capola will now drive to the bucket, and he is stuffed out of bounds. It will remain ULM ball with 24 seconds on the shot clock. 18.09 to play in the first half. UT Arlington on top, two to nothing. Washington with the basketball, dribbles over to the left, drives to the bucket, contact. And they're going to wave the bucket off. He was fouled on the floor before the shot. And the foul will go on Jorge Bilbao. That'll be his first and the team's first. 18.03 to play first half. McDaniel to inbound to Munnings. Munnings to Washington. Washington now left side to Coppola. Coppola dribbles with his left hand. Cut off on the baseline by Neal. Now out to Washington. Washington, now over to Munnings for three. Yes! Three ball goes down for Travis Munnings. The Warhawks have a 3-2 lead over the Mavericks. 17-37. Remaining in the first half, Hervey will drop off to Jones. Jones dribbling with the left hand, will pass it between the rings to Charles, right back to Jones. Jones, now to Bilbao. Bilbao out to Jones. Jones will move over to the left. To the right elbow, now jump off to Hervey. Hervey will go all the way, all the way across to Neal. Eight seconds to shoot. Neal now inside to Bilbao. Back to Neal. He'll fire up the three. It's good. Five to three, Mavericks. Approaching 17 minutes to play in the first half. Marcus Washington right side. Washington will hand off to McDaniel. Sam Mack between the rings, moves across the logo, left side. He'll pull up from 17. It's short. Rebounded by Neal. Neal will push the tempo up floor for the Mavericks. A quick guard will hand off to Hervey. Hervey will pull up from 15. Too strong. Rebounded by McDaniel. Here come the Warhawks back up floor. Capola. Neal will pick him up across the half-court stripe. Capola will get a screen from Alabacus. Capola pumps at the free throw line, bounces it down to Alabacus, and he lays it in. First dime of the ball game for Capola. We're tied at five. 16-23 to play in the first half. Left wing, Charles. Charles will go inside to Neal. Neal will pull up for the fadeaway. It's short, rebounded by Alabacus. He'll take one dribble, get it up to Coppola. Coppola across the timeline. 
He'll move across the logo to the left. He'll pull up for three. No good. Bilbao will track down the board for the Mavericks. Under 16 minutes to go in the first half. Jones with it. Pumps on a three. Yet to start up his dribble. He'll dump off to Bilbao. Bilbao now left side to Hervey. Hervey will get a screen from Bilbao. He'll go back to Jones. Jones will step back and he'll fire up the three. It's good. Eight to five, Mavericks. 15 35 remaining in the first half. Marcus Washington across the logo, left side, spins back to the right, now comes back to the left. Now crosses over, slips, has it stolen away by Neal. Neal will slow it down and wait for some teammates, and he'll get it to Hervey. Hervey down low in the paint, loses the ball, tips it out to Jones. Jones will fire up a three, and it's good again. Three for four, the Mavericks are to start the ball game from long range. They take an 11 to five lead. McDaniel moves over to the right side and he is fouled by Drew Charles. A desired, always fresh, nothing fried. With the best view on the bayou, that's the waterfront grill. UT Arlington four for 10 to start the ball game, including three of four for three point range. Warhawks two for seven to start the ball game and one for two from three point range. Nick Capola with the ball to Sam McDaniel. Off of the media timeout. Kalen Wilson has checked in for the Mavericks. Marcus Washington right side defended by Jalen Jones. Crosses back over to the left. Now to Munnings. He'll fire up a quick three. Knocks down another one. Take a three of the ball game for Munnings. Warhawks are within three, 11 to eight. Jones, right side, beyond the arc. Takes a step inside the arc, will kick to Hervey, who will go to Neal. Neal will bounce it back to Hervey, defended by McDaniel. Back to the basket, spin, shot up, short, rebounded by Alabacus. Good job by Big Sam with grabbing his third rebound of the ball game. Approach at 14 minutes to play in the first half, 11 to eight. ULM on top. Nick Capola, left side, waiting on the screen from Alabacus. He'll get it moving to the right. Pulls up in the paint. Floater, no good. And the rebound will go to Kalen Wilson. Wilson will clear it to Neal. Neal will bring it all the way up. He'll fire up a three. It's short. Rebound by Bilbao. Now to Wilson. He'll fire up a quick three. No good. And Jones now with the rebound. Back up. Rejected by Washington. Fourth opportunity. And somehow Jones will lay it off the window with the right hand. 13 to 8. Mavericks. 13-38 13-38 to play in the first half. Sam McDaniel will fire up a three. No good. Bilbao with the box out on the board. All the way up to Jalen Jones. Jones across near side to Hervey. Hervey will get it to Wilson. Back inside to Hervey. Hervey defended by Alabacus. Takes a dribble, bounces it down low to Bilbao, but it's stolen away by Washington. On the break to Capola. Back to Washington. He'll lay it up and in. Count it and one. Foul will go on Jalen Jones. For Jones, that will be his first and the team's third. 13-12 to play in the first half. Substitutions in for UT Arlington. Julian Harris will come in and also Faith Pope will check in. Marvin Jean Pierre will come in and replace Sam McDaniel. Warhawks down 13 to 10. Marcus Washington to the free throw line. 75% free throw shooter. And the free throw for Washington is good. 13 to 11. UT Arlington approaching seven minutes into the ball game. Eric Neal to Pope. Pope will go to Jalen Jones. Jones will now go inside to Pope, and the pass is knocked away by Alabacus. Warhawks on the move once again. Munnings to Washington. He'll drive baseline, kick into the corner to Jean Pierre. Now to Capola. Over to Munnings for three. Got another one. Nine points in the ball game for Travis Munnings, all coming from three point range. Warhawks take a one point lead, 14 to 13. And now Kalen Wilson will drive inside, and there's a foul on Nick Capola. Trying to fight through the screen. That'll be his first and the team's first. Mavericks will inbound from the right baseline. Eric Neal to trigger. It'll go to the top to Julian Harris, who will hand back off to Neal. Neal moves over to the right side, stops his dribble. Will go to the left to Jones. Jones now inside. 
to Harris. Defended by Alabacus. Harris takes a dribble. Back to Jones. Jones looking to drive. Cut off by Gene Pierre. Steps back beyond the arc and fires up a three and knocks it down. He's up to 11 points in the ball game, Jalen Jones. The Mavericks retake the lead by two, 16 to 14. Approaching 12 minutes to play in the first half. Gene Pierre brings it over across the logo, left side. He'll fire up a three. It's offline. Rebound. Alabacus then taken away from him by Kalen Wilson. Mavericks on the move. Eric Neal, defended by Coppola, gets a screen, drives inside, now kicks out to Wilson for three. It's offline. Washington skying for the rebound. Here come the Mavericks back up floor. Marcus Washington will drive left side to the bucket. Strong rejected out of bounds by Pope. And that will take us to the media timeout with 11.41 to play in the first half. Stanley Steamer, the Warhawks encourage all fans to support their home team partners and make them a part of your home team today. Mavericks shooting 35%. Warhawks shooting 35%. Mavericks have just made one more field goal than the Warhawks, and that's why they lead by two. Marvin Jean Pierre with the ball drives inside, and he is fouled on the shot. He'll shoot two. And they will call this one on Julian Harris. That'll be his first, and the team's fourth. MJP, a 68% free throw shooter on the season. First one, rattled home. One point lead for UT Arlington. Substitution in for ULM. Roderick Taylor, a 6'8 redshirt sophomore from Harker Heights, Texas, will check into the game. Second free throw for Gene Pierre, also good. We got a tie ball game once again. Second tie of the game. Nathan Hawkins in the ball game for UT Arlington. He'll pass the ball to Julian Harris, who will get it to Eric Neal. Neal now to Hawkins. Hawkins will drive into the paint. Hands off to Harris. Harris will drive. Blocked by Taylor. Rebound put back. Missed by Pope. And Munnings will come up with the board. And up floor, it's Gene Pierre. Gene Pierre right side between the rings to Coppola. Now to the left to Washington. Washington inside to Munnings. Munnings will pull up. No good. Hawkins will come up with a rebound. And now he'll get it to Neal. Neal will cross over to the left, cut off at the elbow, whips a pass over to Pope. Pope will pump on a three, now drives inside to Harris. Harris is blocked and he'll go out of bounds off of Harris. Great play by Marcus Washington. Great play there by Marcus. Stuff in the 6-5 Julian Harris. And then the basketball as Harris Fell on the baseline, landed right on top of him. So the Warhawks will get it back. We're tied at 16, approaching the 10-minute mark of the first half. Jean Pierre will move it over to the left side. Whips a pass between the rings to Washington. Washington will start up his dribble, crosses over, over to Jean Pierre, pumps on a three, steps up from 15. It's short, and on the rebound, Roger Taylor pushed off. That'll be his first foul, team second. 10.27 remaining in the first half. Drew Charles will check back in for the Mavericks. Checking out will be Kalen Wilson. Drew Charles moves over to the left across the logo. Stops his dribble. Hands off to Neal. Neal will bounce it down low to Bilbao. Bilbao will pump, goes up, blocked by Taylor. Ball loose, Bilbao dives to the deck for it, and he will call a timeout to retain possession for the Mavericks with 10.09 to play in the first half. They haven't scored in the last two minutes and 14 seconds. ULM, they have not hit a field goal in the last two minutes and 42 seconds. 10.09 to play, first half. We're tied at 16. Mavericks will inbound from the left baseline. Eric Neal will get it into Drew Charles. Quick three, too strong. Washington with a good strong rebound. His third of the ball game. He'll get it to Coppola, who will bring it across the timeline. Coppola will move across the logo to the left. Gets a screen from Taylor, drives. Kicks out to Munnings, passes tipped away. Munnings tracks it down. Now to the left to Gene Pierre. 
Jean Pierre will bounce it inside of Washington. Ten to shoot. Back in his way in on Charles. Spins. Dumps it down low to Taylor. Taylor has his shot blocked. Rebound is tipped around and will go out of bounds. And they'll say last touch by ULM. So a new shot clock for the Mavericks with 9.38 to play in the first half. We are tied at 16. Eric Neal will bring the ball up floor. Neal to Bilbao. Bilbao left elbow will bounce it down low to Charles and alley oop will be flushed home by Faith Pope. 18 to 16 Mavericks retake the lead. Their first field goal in three plus minutes. Munnings moves over to the left. Will hand off to Gene Pierre. He'll face up to the bucket. Looks to drive. He pumps. Now we'll whip it out to Capola. Capola drives inside, brings it back out beyond the arc. Now moving forward once again on Bill Bow. Will kick to Washington for three. Yes! Marcus Washington. He's having a good game, folks. Marcus Washington, the 6'2 senior from Clinton, Mississippi. Puts the Warhawks up by one, 19 to 18. 8.50 to play in the first half. Eric Neal in the paint will kick out left side to Pope for three. He buries it. Seems like every time the Warhawks come up with a big three, the Mavericks will counter on their end of the floor. 21 to 19, Mavericks retake the lead. 8.35 remaining in the first half. Marcus Washington directing the offense will now get it back to the point guard, Coppola. Coppola will move over to the logo. Stops his dribble, gets it to Taylor, right back to Coppola, eight to shoot, jump stop, kicks out to Washington, he'll pump, now crosses over, and travels. Washington drew a double team down there and kind of got in no man's land and shuffled the feet. 21 to 19, UT Arlington. Sam Alabacus will come back in, Roderick Taylor will have a seat. Bill Ball with it, free throw line extended left side. He'll try to get it down low to Hawkins, and the ball is knocked into the backcourt. Drew Charles strikes it down. He'll get it to Eric Neal. Neal will move over to the left. Cut off by Coppola, backs it up beyond the arc. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Shot clock is winding down. Neal gets the screen from Bill Ball, pulls up from 17. It's offline. Washington will collect another rebound, his fourth. All the way up floor is Gene Pierre will bounce it to Washington. Washington will go inside, throws it up, no good. But he has found the believe they're going to say that was on the floor before the shot. It'll Warhawks being out rebounded by UT Arlington early on, 16 to 12. We've had two ties and six lead changes thus far. 7:37 to play in the first half. Warhawks have the basketball. Gene Pierre, Alabacus, Capola, Munnings, and Prince Cooper. Into the ball game. Bounce pass inside to Munnings. Now to Gene Pierre. Over to Coppola. Back inside to Munnings. Back to the bucket to a cutting. Prince Cooper with a left-handed shot. He got it in the paint. Instant offense there. Prince Cooper coming off the bench and getting a bucket to go down. We're tied at 21. 7-13 remaining in the first half. Eric Neal will cross over to the right side. He'll bounce out to Hervey, and Hervey will throw it away. Trying to get it over to Drew Charles. Pass was way offline, and that was kind of altered by Gene Pierre almost stealing it away from Hervey, and he kind of rushed that pass. Under seven minutes to go in the first half. We're tied at 21. Prince Cooper right side between the rings to Capola. He'll move over to the left, defended by Charles, brings it back beyond the arc to Munnings. Right back to Capola. Capola with 10 seconds to shoot. Backs it up near the half-court strike. Now we'll move forward. Double team, over to Munnings. Munnings will drive, three to shoot, to the bucket, layup, good! Big bucket there by Travis Munnings now in double figures with 11 points. 23-21 Warhawks, 6.30 remaining. Now the right corner, it's Neal, over to Charles. To the left wing, Faith Pope for three, and he knocks it down. Once again, folks, Mavericks countering every single big play that the Warhawks come up with. They retake the lead by one, 24-23. 6-10 remaining first half. Cooper between the rings, moves across the logo to the right. Looking to go down low, Kent. Now coming out to help will be Munnings. Munnings will move over to the left to Coppola. He'll get a screen from Alabacus. Coppola on the baseline. Stops his dribble, now to Cooper, pumps, pulls up in the paint. Good again. 
Four points off the bench for Prince Cooper. Warhawks retake the lead by one. 25 to 24. 545 remaining in the first half. Faith Pope beyond the arc, left side to Hervey. Hervey in the corner, throws it away once again. Pass was offline to Nathan Hawkins, out of bounds. In for the Mavericks will be Julian Harris and Jalen Jones. 537 to play in the first half. Warhawks on top, 25 to 24. Prince Cooper. Dribbling between the rings, moves over to the right side, spins back to the left, waiting on a screen from Alabacus. Now comes back to the right, stops his dribble, goes to MJP. The MJP with 10 seconds to shoot, moves into the paint, kicks out to Capola. Capola moves over to the left, comes back to the right to Jean Pierre for three, yes! Fifth down of the ball game for Capola, and MJP gets the bucket to go down. 28 24, Warhawks. And we got a stoppage of play as Drew Charles comes out. And I don't know if it's a contact in. Irby. Tore his left ACL last season, yet they still had a pretty good year, top four finish inside the league. So now back to action. There was no elbow contact. It's a four-point lead for ULM, 28 to 24, under five minutes to play. Jalen Jones, right elbow jumper, rims out. Rebounded, though, by Hervey. And he'll pull up and knock down the baseline jumper from about 10 feet. 28-26, Warhawks. 4.40 remaining in the first half. Across the timeline, it's Coppola. Coppola now to MJP, back to Coppola now to Munnings, working against the Arlington zone. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Bounce pass to Cooper. He'll pull up, shot offline, and Hervey will get the rebound. He'll bounce it to Neal. Eric Neal will bounce it to Hervey, defended by Munnings, trying to back his way into the paint. Goes up and under, shot, no good. Tip back is good, though, by Jalen Jones for UT Arlington. We have a tie ball game at 28. We're under four minutes to go in the first half. Right side, Gene Pierre. will bounce it to Coppola, now to Cooper. Cooper will go inside Alabacus. It ricochets off his hands. Coppola tracks it down, pulls up on the baseline for 15. It's short, and the rebound will go out of bounds. And it'll be last touched by... Eric Neal will bring it across the timeline right side. Neal will move it over to the left. Defensively a switch for Munnings. Now the Mavericks will go across left side to Kalen Wilson. Back to Neal. Bounce pass down low. And we've got a foul. And it's going to go on Sam McDaniel just back into the ball game. That'll be his first, team's third. And Julian Harris will go to the free throw line. And the first one, with a soft touch off the back of the iron, drops through. 29-28, Mavericks. Second free throw, Harris, no good. But an offensive rebound, nope, taken away by uh, Washington. Marcus Washington able to come up with the ball. Left side, Washington. Between the rings to Gene Pierre. Now to the right elbow to McDaniel. He'll drive inside and has the ball knocked away by Hervey. 14 seconds on the shot clock. 3-12 left in the first half. Gene Pierre to inbound to McDaniel. Takes one dribble, goes to Washington. Now to the point guard, Coppola. Shot clock down to eight. Coppola defended by Eric Neal. Moves over to the left. Dishes to Munnings. Now to Gene Pierre. Two on the shot clock. Drive, spins, floater, no good. Rebound by Hervey. Neal will bring it across now. Spins over to the left, pulls up from 17, barely hits iron. MJP with the board. 
Back up floor of the Warhawks. Left side, McDaniel. He'll drive baselines. Cut off. Almost loses it. Able to kick it out to Capola. Pumps on a three. Back to McDaniel. McDaniel with a one-handed pass to Capola. Now across to MJP. Over to Munnings for three. Nope. This one did not go down. Neal will come up with a rebound. <clears throat> Neal now has the ball. Falling down on the deck and taken away by Washington. On the break, Washington to the bucket. Yes, off the window. Walks retake the lead, 30-29. to 29. Approaching two minutes to go in the first half. Hervey between the rings. Now left side to Kalen Wilson. Wilson will go inside to Hervey, defended by Munnings. Hervey trying to back his way in, into the paint. Hook shot with the right hand. Good. Mavericks retake the lead. 31 to 30. Minute 47 left to play in the first half. Marcus Washington to Nick Capola working against the UT Arlington zone once again. Now to the left to Gene Pierre. Gene Pierre moves over to the right, dumps it inside to Munnings. Pass is knocked away, but Capola able to come up with it. Seven to shoot. Capola with a floater. No good. And on the rebound, we got a foul. And they're going to call it on Travis Munnings. Munnings trying to fight for the rebound. We'll pick up his first. Team's fourth. Minute 26 to play in the first half. UT Arlington on top, 31 to 30. DJ Bryant will check in now for the Mavericks. And Kevin Hervey will head all the way back down on the other end of the floor to inbound. Mavericks on the front court. They lead by one. Hervey back with the ball. Munnings defending. And we got an offensive foul going against Kevin Hervey as he lowered the shoulder into the gut of Travis Munnings. Good defense, good toughness there by the 6'6 sophomore, Travis Munnings. Warhawks get it back down by one. Minute 14 to play in the first half. Coppola will walk it across. Pitch and catch beyond the arc. Coppola will now move to the right. Will feed Munnings. He'll fire up another three. Back iron. Hervey will come up with a rebound. Under a minute to go. Hervey will bring it all the way up. He'll pull up. Shot offline. Rebound won by Munnings. Munnings will corral his third rebound of the game. Now left side, Gene Pierre, and then he travels. Warhawks will turn it over for the third time to fourth senior day in ULM Warhawk basketball. The women's and men's doubleheader go to ULMWarhawks.com or call 342-HAWK. Eric Neal will bring it across the timeline to Jones. Jones will drive high off the window. No good. Rebound tipped around and over to Munnings. Warhawks will take a timeout with 30.8 seconds remaining in the first half. They have 27 seconds on the shot clock. On the shot clock, 30.8 seconds left in the first half. Capola will bring it up. Nope, it'll be Gene Pierre to bring it up. UT Arlington in a 2-3 zone. Now they'll switch to a man. Capola back near the half-court strike, defended by Drew Charles. Shot clock is down to 10. 15 seconds left in the half. Now the handoff to Gene Pierre. Gene Pierre moves over to the left. Shot clock down to three. Gene Pierre drives, spins. Capola comes up with it. He's it up, and it's an air ball and a shot clock violation. Two and a half seconds to go in the half. And the Mavericks will get a final opportunity. They'll get it to Neal. Neal will take a couple of dribbles, gets it to Charles. He'll heave up a three. It's no good. As the first half buzzer expires, and the first half expires, so that rule uh, during the offseason, every team, uh, all 12, will go into the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. Warhawks can finish no higher than 11th. Uh, and that uh, they own the tiebreaker over Appalachian State. Should they uh, finish tied, they would uh, win the tiebreaker over App State due to the head-to-head. UT Arlington has wrapped up the number one seat already inside the Sun Belt. Warhawks have the basketball to start the second half. Munnings, Washington, Capola, Alabacus, and McDaniel, the five on the floor for ULM. Sam McDaniel with it. Beyond the arc, right side, drives inside, spins, shot up, no good. Kevin Hervey 
Will Scott for the rebound for the Mavericks. Opening minute of the second half, they lead by one. Warhawks finish the second half, missing eight of their last nine shots. Eric Neal, right side, will dump off to Drew Charles, scoreless in the first half, between the rings to Jones, now to Neal on the left wing. Ten seconds to shoot, Neal will drive, and he is fouled by Travis Munnings. That'll be his second foul, and the team's first. It's a pretty light foul situation in the first half. Nine combined fouls in the first half. Quick three by Eric Neal, and he knocks it down. Four-point lead now for UT Arlington off the inbounds pass, 34-30. to 30. Opening minute of the second half, Sam McDaniel in the front court. He'll hand off to Coppola. Coppola will move over to the left, defended by Neal. Now to Washington. Washington will start up his dribble, looking to drive, kicks out to Munnings. Munnings now to Coppola. Coppola will back it up. Neal will come out to defend. Now pass right side to McDaniel. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Now to Coppola. Coppola dribbling at the top. Fires up a three. No good. Long rebound, though, by Marcus Washington. He'll drive to the bucket. Scoop shot is out of bounds. And I guess not touched by a Maverick, apparently. From my vantage point, it looked that way, but officials had a better viewpoint than I did, so... It'll be Mavericks ball, 90 seconds into this second half. They lead by four. Eric Neal. Dumps off to Drew Charles. Now to Jones, back to Neal on the left side this time. Neal will kick out to Charles, wide open three, too strong. Washington comes up with another rebound. He now has seven. He'll bring it all the way up. Looks to drive to the bucket. He's stripped. It's loose and will go into the hands of Jones. Jones will push the tempo up floor. He'll drive, scoop layup, good. Nope, oh yeah, they are gonna call it the bucket. They're gonna call a foul on Sam McDaniel. That'll be his second, team second. Mavericks match their biggest lead of the ball game at six. And Jalen Jones, a 75% free throw shooter will go to the line. And he makes the free throw. Largest lead of the ball game for the Mavericks. 6-0 run to start this second half. Now they'll turn up some pressure. Inbounds pass will go into the front court to Munnings. He'll drive all the way to the bucket, and we have an offensive foul. It's Jorge Bilbao had set up for position. And now it will be Munnings' third foul and the team's third. So the Mavericks will get the ball back, leading by seven. Eric Neal right side. Looks to drive now, kicks out to Jones, over to Hervey, top of the key three, rims out. Rebound by Bilbao, back up, hits the bottom of the rim. And Alabacus comes up with the ball. Warhawks need a bucket. They have gone ice cold from the field. Last field goal came at the 219 mark of the first half. Capola on the left, defended by Neal. Looks to drive now. Cut off on the elbow. Will bounce it to Alabacus. Over to McDaniel. Eight to shoot. He'll fire up the shot. Line drive short. Rebound by Washington. Pumps. Goes back up. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Bilbao for UT Arlington. He'll bring it all the way up. And we'll go to Eric Neal. Pumps on a three. Bounce it inside to Herbie. And now he travels. That'll be the fifth turnover on the evening for Kevin Hervey. Marvin Jean Pierre will sub in. Sam McDaniel will have a seat. Three minutes into this second half, Mavericks at their biggest lead of the ball game at seven. Nick Capola defended by Eric Neal will bounce it inside to Munnings. Defended by Hervey. Back out to Coppola. Pumps on a three. Now drives in the lane. The floater too strong. Rebounded by Bilbao. Coppola struggling from the field. Drew Charles driving baseline to Bilbao, and he'll lay it in with the right hand. And a timeout taken by Keith Reeshaw. We'll take it as well. 16th. Washington. Jean Pierre and Munnings on the floor for ULM. And it is Warhawk basketball. Jean-Pierre will get it in to Washington. 
pressure from the Mavericks. Jones will be all over Washington all the way up floor. Now to Coppola, just across the half-court stripe. Goes across the ULM logo, left side. Will feed Gene Pierre, and Gene Pierre looking to drive baseline, shuffles the feed and travels. Coach Richard not happy about that call. Mavericks will get it back. Warhawks still scoreless in this second half. Eric Neal drives inside, bounces it down to Bilbao, and he'll lay it in with the left hand. 41-30, Mavericks out to an 11-point lead. A 10-0 run to start this second half for UT Arlington. Marcus Washington left side. Spins, looking to drive inside. Now a feed Munnings. Munnings will come out to Coppola, now to the top to Washington. Washington now inside Alabacus, back to the bucket, working on Bilbao. Hook shot with the right hand, good. 41-32, Mavericks. Under 16 minutes to go in this ball game. Eric Neal right side, defended by Gene Pierre. Gene Pierre gets screened off by Drew Charles, and we have a traveling violation by Eric Neal, and that'll result in Warhawks just one for seven in the second half. While the Mavericks are four for seven in the second half, they're up to 39%, while the Warhawks shooting just 32%. Warhawks have the basketball. Marcus Washington, Nick Capola, Marvin Jean Pierre, Travis Munnings, and Sam Alabacus. The five on the floor for ULM. Jean Pierre right side between the rings to Munnings. Munnings will now go to Washington. Hand off to Capola. Capola will move over to the left. Will feed Washington. Washington will cross over. Now looking to back his way in on Jones. Kicks out to Capola for three. Bang! First bucket of the ball game for Nick Capola. Warhawks cut the lead to six. 41 to 35. 15 minutes to play. Neal right side, dribbles over to the left at the elbow, dishes down low to Bilbao, he'll lay it in, count it, and one. Jorge Bilbao was scoreless in the first half. Bilbao is up now to six points in this second half. The foul was on Sam Alabacus, that'll be his first and the team's fourth. And the free throw for Jorge Bilbao is good. Checking in for UT Arlington, Kalen Wilson and Nathan Hawkins. Pressure once again from the Mavericks. Inbounds pass will go to Washington. And now it looks like UT Arlington will back off of the pressure. Washington will walk it across the stripe and will get it to Coppola. Across the logo, left side, defended by Neal. Capola stops the dribble. Alabac is coming out to help. Now to Gene Pierre, right wing. Now into the corner to Capola. Capola will go inside to Washington. Eight to shoot. Washington in the paint. Spins. Pump. Shot. No good, but we got a foul. And the foul will go on Nathan Hawkins. That will be his first, team's first. It'll be two free throws for Marcus Washington. And Marcus, a 75% free throw shooter. Washington ready for his first free throw. And it is missed. Warhawks down 44 to 35 to the Mavericks. Washington steps back to the charity stripe. And the second free throw also missed, but Munnings will fight for the rebound. See if the Warhawks can capitalize right here. Capola moves over to the right, dribbles inside the arc, brings it back beyond the arc. Bilbao will come out to defend, now to Washington. Washington will cross over to the left and will feed MJP. MJP moves over to the right, crosses back over to the left, looking to go down low camp, will go to Washington. Eight seconds to shoot. Marcus will drive to the bucket, hits the bottom of the rim, but we get a late whistle and a foul. And this foul will go against Kalen Wilson for the Mavericks, his first, team second. And that will send Marcus Washington back to the free throw line after missing his two previous opportunities.
First free throw. Good. 44-37. Or excuse me, 44-36. Mavericks. Second free throw attempt for Washington. And it's good. Marcus now in double figures. He's got 10 points and eight rebounds. Eric Neal up floor quickly. Mavericks leading by seven. Nathan Hawkins, left side, gets a screen from Bilbao. Will kick out to Wilson. Wilson will move through the lane. Scoop shot up high off the window. Got it. 46-37, Mavericks. 13-42 left to play. Marcus Washington beyond the arc left side to MJP. Pumps on a three, starts up his dribble with the right hand. Jump stop in the paint, spins, puts up the shot, way offline. Hervey with the board. Long pass up to Wilson. Wilson will drive to the bucket and lay it in off the window. 48-37, Mavericks back up by 11. 13-15 left to play. Near side, Coppola. And a man defense from the Mavericks. Now Marvin Jean Pierre with it, left wing. Defended by Hawkins between the rings to Munnings. Now to Capola. Capola will move over to the left. He'll feed Munnings. Pumps on the three. Now will kick to Capola. Wide open three. No good. Alabacus with an offensive rebound. He'll get it out to Marcus Washington. Warhawks with a second chance opportunity. 12 45 remaining in this ball game. And Capola will bounce it to Marcus Washington. Pumps on a three from the left corner. Now looks to drive baseline. Reverse layup short. Rebound Alabacus. Back up and in with the right hand. 48-39, Mavericks, 12-30 remaining. Hervey to the left side to Hawkins. Capola to defend. Will bounce it inside to Hervey. Defended by Munnings. Gets the screen from Bilbao. Pulls up and nails the jumper. Back to an 11-point lead for UT Arlington, 50-39. 12-10 remaining. Capola, whip pass across right side to Washington, gets a screen from Alabacus. Washington will go out to Capola, pumps on a three, and then as he's looking to drive, he is fouled. Foul 11 points, five rebounds. Marcus Washington having a solid ball game, stuff in the stat sheet with 10 points, eight rebounds, four assists, three blocks, and two steals. Prince Cooper has checked into the game. For the Warhawks, inbounds pass will go to Marcus Washington. Washington will move to the left. Will go to Munnings, back to Washington. He'll get a screen from Alabacus. Washington will bounce it inside Alabacus, but the pass was offline. It'll go out of bounds, and the turnover will get it back to the Mavericks. That's just the seventh turnover for ULM so far this evening. Mavericks with an 11-point lead and the ball. Eric Neal at the top will whip it over to the left corner to Wilson for three. It's short, Alabacus with the rebound. Now Coppola will move to the top of the key and back it up some more. Across the ULM logo to the left side, comes back to the right, looking to drive. Floater, good. Five points for Nick Coppola. 50 to 41, Mavericks. Nathan Hawkins beyond the arc, right side, defended by Prince Cooper. He'll move to the left, looking to drive. Shot no good, but he is fouled. They'll call the foul on Sam Alabacus. That'll be his second foul, team's fifth. Hawkins, a 52% free throw shooter, will go to the line. And the first one... No good. DJ Bryant will check in for the Mavericks. Eric Neal will go and have a rest. Second free throw attempt for Hawkins. No good. Fighting for the rebound down low. It looks like Harris got it. He is stripped down low by Munnings. The Warhawks will get it back. Approaching 10 minutes to play. UT Arlington on top, 50 to 41. Warhawks working against the UT Arlington zone. 
Travis Munnings at the top to Nick Capola for three, short. Cooper with an offensive rebound. Back to Capola, who will underhand it to Munnings. Over to Washington. Washington will cross over, drive baseline, pulls up from eight, and got it to go. Soft touch off the iron. Marcus up to 12 points, leading the Warhawks so far. That cuts the Maverick lead to seven. 10 8 to play. Right side, Wilson. Defended by Coppola, now inside to Hervey. Hervey backing his way in on Munnings. Shot up, no good. Rebound, though, by the Mavericks. I believe that was Wilson down low, and then he was fouled. And that'll be on Marcus Washington. That'll be his first. And the team's sixth. 9.58 remaining. Bryant to inbound. Left baseline. It'll go into Hervey. Hervey defended by Munnings. Munnings with three fouls. Washington almost comes in and steals it away. Wilson will come up with it. Puts up a wild shot. And Cooper will track down the board. Now up to Washington. He'll pull a free throw line. No good. And rebound cleared out to Hervey. He'll push the tempo up floor. And it's stolen away by Washington. Good hustle there for the senior Marcus Washington. He'll push the tempo to Cooper. Cooper reverse layup. Got it. Hung in on the front of the iron and dropped through the hoop. Warhawks are within five, 50 to 45, 9.20 to play. Bryant with a one-handed pass to the right side to Wilson, now to Hawkins, back to Bryant. Bryant dribbles, drives, now dumps inside to Harris. Shot up, no good. Alabakis will come up with a rebound. Scott Cross is livid for the Mavericks. Now Munnings with the ball. One the pass to Coppola. Coppola will look to drive. He's cut off by Bryant. We'll back it up instead. Now we'll dump off to Munnings between the rings to the right wing to Washington. Washington takes one dribble. Goes back to Coppola. Coppola drives in the paint. The floater short. Rebound won by Hervey. And then we got a foul. And the foul will go on Alabacus. He'll pick up his third foul. And the team's seventh. So they'll walk it to the other end and shoot a one and one. Got mass subs coming in for the Mavericks. Eric Neal, Drew Charles, Jorge Bilbao, and Jalen Jones back in. And Kevin Hervey will go to the line to shoot a one and one. 79% free throw shooter on the season. Thrown into the one and one, no good. And Marcus Washington grabs another rebound. One rebound shy of his first career double-double. Marcus Washington working against the zone of UT Arlington. They get it back to Capola, now to Washington, top of the key, three, too strong. Hervey with the board, his ninth of the ball game. 50 to 45. Mavericks, Eric Neal in the paint. His floater is short. Ball loose. Bilbao will come up with it and get it to Drew Charles. Second chance opportunity for the UTA Mavericks. Now Eric Neal at the free throw line. Throws up the shot. Back iron too strong. Coppola comes up with the board. He'll push the tempo up floor. Now he's cut off. Whips it out to Cooper for three. Short. Hervey with another rebound. 7.43 left to play. UT Arlington on top, 50 to 45. Through Charles, left side. We'll go into Hervey, back to the bucket. We have a foul away from the ball, and it's going to be on Nick Capola trying to fight through the screen. That'll be his. The five on the floor for ULM. It'll be Drew Charles, a 60% free throw shooter, going to the line for a one and one. Faith Pope, Eric Neal, Jorge Bilbao on the floor for the Mavericks. And the first free throw is good. Jalen Jones also on the floor for UT Arlington. They up their lead to six, 51 to 45. That's Charles' first point of this ball game. Second free throw, also good. Lead goes to seven, 52 to 45. Full court pressure from the Mavericks. It'll go to McDaniel. 
Back to Capola in the backcourt with Neal all over him. Now to Marvin Jean Pierre who will bring it across the timeline. Warhawks can settle into their half court offense now. Cooper with it. Cooper backs it up on the ULM logo. Moves forward to the left side. Now stops his dribble, goes inside of McDaniel. Hands it off to Cooper, and Cooper travels. 7.05 remaining. Mavericks get it back. Sam Alabakis will check back in. And Sam McDaniel will check out. Mavericks sitting at 23-6 and six on the year, 13-3 and three in the Sun Belt Conference, having already locked up the number one seed in the tournament next week. Fadeaway jumper up and soft touch off the iron by Jalen Jones. Gets it a drop through. Mavericks go back up by nine. 54 to 45, 645 remaining. The ball in the front court to the near side to Gene Pierre. Marvin will move it over to the left and bounce it back to Coppola. Now to the near side to Cooper, working against the UT Arlington zone. Cooper back to Coppola between the rings. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Coppola loses the ball out of bounds. And Coach Richard having a conversation with one of the officials and saying that was tipped out of bounds by the Mavericks. So the Mavericks will get it back. 6.20 remaining. 54-45, UT Arlington. Bill Bow at the free throw line. Yet to start his dribble, we'll get it to Neal. Neal will take one dribble and fire up a 17-footer and bury it. And the Mavericks go back up by 11, matching their biggest lead of the ball game. Now the ball stolen away by Drew Charles. Here come the Mavericks. It'll go to Jones. He'll lay it in with the right hand. And Coach Keith Richard will take a timeout. Back in. Sam McDaniel also back in. Along with Cooper, Coppola, and Munnings. Cooper will inbound. Warhawks will face the pressure. It'll go into Marcus Washington. And Marcus Washington has the ball kicked in the backcourt by Eric Neal. And they'll trigger in once again. Back to action. Cooper will get it in to McDaniel. Uh, back to Cooper. We'll bounce it to Washington. Washington gets it across the timeline with Neal all over him. Moving over to the left, Washington goes behind his back, still dribbling at the top. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Now to Capola on the left. Capola moving over to the right. Dumps off to Munnings for three. No good. Faith Pope with the box out and the rebound. Approaching five minutes to play, Mavericks with their biggest lead of the game at 13. Drew Charles right wing, inside to Bilbao, back to the bucket. Now looking to go to work, we'll get it back out to Neal. Neal between the rings. Underhanded pass over to Jones for three, he buries it. The Mavericks out to a 16 point lead now, 61 to 45. 4.52 left to play. Cooper will drive inside, cut off in the paint to Coppola for three. Bang! Yeah, It'll be Mavericks basketball. The Warhawks have exhausted all of their timeouts now. After that one called by Keith Reshore. And here we are back to action. Eric Neal will bring it across to Faith Pope. To the right side of Drew Charles, now to Bill Bow. Back to the bucket, free throw line. Faces up to the bucket, will go to Neal. Neal will get it back to Bill Bow, and he travels. Bill Bow is contending that he was fouled. And the officials want no part of that. Cooper with it across the timeline. Looking to drive, almost lose it. Gets it back to Capola, pumps on a three. Capola now to Washington. He'll drive, go behind his back. Kicks out to Capola. 4-3. Bang! Once again, third three of the ball game for Nick Capola. Scoreless in the first half. He's now up to 11. All in the second half. Warhawks are within 10. 61-51. 4-0-3 remaining. 
Bilbao back to the bucket. Free throw line. Hands off to Neal. Neal dribbling at the top of the key. Stops the dribble. Goes back inside to Bilbao. Up and under with the right hand. No good. Munnings with another rebound. He'll get it to Washington and will bring it across. Marcus Washington across left side of Coppola. Coppola stops his dribble, goes inside to Alabacas, trying to back his way in on Bilbao. Now out to Washington. Wolves go for a repost can't, and so get it to Munnings. Now to Coppola. Seven to shoot, over to Munnings. Now across to Washington left side, and it goes out of bounds. And we'll go to our final media timeout with 326 LM home team. Azure Pools and Spas, Custom Carpets, Ready Decks, and Stanley Steamer. The Warhawks encourage all fans to support our home team partners and make them a part of your home team today. Off of the media timeout, Mavericks with the basketball. Eric Neal just holding the ball across the half-court stripe. Looking to burn up a little bit of clock here as the shot clock hits 12. Go left side of Jones, back to Neal. Neal to Jones, inside to Hervey. Floater in the paint, short tip back. Also no good, Hervey gets another rebound back up and in. Three opportunities for Kevin Hervey. And now we have a warning on Hervey as he was not happy that he didn't get a foul call. He used to think warnings were just the technical. They didn't give him any warnings. But anyway, here we go back to action. Alabacus has the ball stripped by Eric Neal. Neal will push the tempo up floor to Drew Charles. 4-3. It's short and goes over the backboard out of bounds. Warhawks will get it back with 2.31 to play. 63-51. Mavericks on top. Washington in the backcourt. Neal all over him as he brings it across right side. Now to Prince Cooper. Inside to Munnings. Munnings with a wild shot. High off the window. Got it to go. 63-53. Mavericks on top by 10. Approaching two minutes to play. Neal right side. Looking for the screen from Hervey. Gets it. We'll whip it around to Charles. Now inside to Hervey. Backing his way in on Washington. Will kick out to Charles, now to Neal. Pumps on a three, eight to shoot. Inside to Bilbao, backing his way on Alabacus. Hook shot with the left hand, good. 65-53 Mavericks, minute 42 left to play. Capola will bring it across the timeline. Dribbling left side, driving it inside and tries to bounce it down low to Alabacus. Ball is loose, taken away by Bilbao. 90 seconds to play. Drew Charles will move it across the logo and hand off to Neal. It looks like the Mavericks will milk some more clock right here. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. And Neal instead will fire up a three, and he buries it. Had me fooled right there and had everybody fooled as he knocked down the three. 15-point lead now for the Mavericks, 68-53. A minute five remaining. Munnings in the left corner. Dribbles out of the corner and hands off to Cooper. Cooper gets a screen from Alabacus and drives and is fouled. Foul's going to be on the floor on Jorge Bilbao. That'll be his third and the team's fourth. 58 seconds remaining. Inbounds pass to Munnings. Munnings loses it, regains it, puts up another wild one, but gets soft touch off the back of the iron to drop through. 68-55, and now Munnings will foul Eric Neal. 52.2 seconds remaining. They'll walk it to the other end of the floor. It'll be a one-and-one one opportunity for UT Arlington. Eric Neal will go to the line, a 68% free throw shooter. Julian Harris will check in. Scott Muirhead will also check in. And Faith Pope also back in. Eric Neal makes his first free throw. 69-55, Mavericks. Neal up to 12 points. Second free throw, no good. And Washington gets the double-double with that 10th rebound right there. His first career double-double. 45 seconds remaining. And Eric Neal will commit a foul. 
on, Ari on uh, Marcus Washington. And Neal will check out of the ball game. DJ Bryant will replace him. 14-point lead for the Mavericks, 44 seconds remain. Nick Coppola dribbles, drives, now kicks to Cooper over to Munnings for another three. It's an air ball that will go out of bounds. 31.1 seconds remain. Mavericks on top by 14. Faith Pope will get it into Drew Charles. About a second differential between the game and the shot clock. And the Warhawks are going to try to foul, and they did not get the foul. Muirhead fires it over to Faith Pope, and he knocks down the three, and that will just about do it, folks. 72-55, quick three by Cooper. Two strong Munnings with the rebound, back up and in with the right hand. 72-57 Mavericks, and they won't even have to bring it across the timeline. The Mavericks will move to 24-6 on the year, 14-3 in the Sun Belt Conference. ULM will fall to 8-22 on the year, 